Hello, good day everyone. This is Tebs, welcome back to this channel. We have a 32 inch sharp LED TV, model HKLE 3220 UVM. It turns on, but no image or backlight is displayed on the screen. I will show you how to fix it. If you are interested in electronics and want to learn how to repair TVs and other electronic gadgets, you've came to the right channel. So be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video like this. So let's get started. In part 1, we successfully created a PCB layout, soldered all the components, and confirmed that it works. Now, we will move on to part 2. Now, let's connect the LED driver. The power supply has only one voltage output, 12 volts. The driver we made requires 16 volts or higher to start. We can use a DC to DC step up converter to change 12 volts to a higher voltage, but I have another solution. The power supply has two rectifier diodes and three filter capacitors. These two diodes are connected in parallel to each other, and the two capacitor is also connected in parallel. This schematic diagram shows the connection. My plan is to separate the other diode and capacitor and wind an additional coil to the chopper transformer to get a higher voltage. Now, let's disconnect the diode and capacitor. The capacitor and diode are now separated. This is where the cutting is. And this is the capacitor and diode that was disconnected. Let's measure the voltage across the diode and capacitor while they remain connected. The voltage is 12.1 volts while the capacitor is currently at zero volts since it is disconnected. Now let's remove the chopper transformer and wind a copper wire. Let's wind the copper wire, each wind generates about 1.8 volts, so we will only make 3 turns.
let's solder back the chopper transformer and connect the diode. This schematic diagram will illustrate the wiring. Scrap the copper wire coating so we can solder it. This is the three turns coil we added to the chopper transformer, let's connect it to the diode's anode now. Connect the cathode of the diode to the positive of the capacitor. The diode and capacitor are now connected. Now let's measure the voltage. The reading is only about 5.8 volts, seems the copper wire connection is not right. Let's reverse the copper wire connection. The connection of the copper wire has now been reversed, let's measure it again. The voltage now is 19.4 volts and the 12.1 volt as remains normal. We have 19.4 volts now so let's connect the LED driver.
we will disconnect this resistor so the driver is in enable mode. The voltage output of the driver is up to 120 volts. Now let's connect the LED bulbs. This is the positive and this is the negative. It seems that the driver is not functioning properly. I made a modification. I changed this resistor from 4.7K to 200 ohms and this resistor from 1 ohm to 0.33 ohms. The 4.7K ohms is modified to 200 ohms if your B plus supply is lower than 20 volts. This resistor is the current sensing. If you want the LED brighter, put a higher resistance like 0.33 ohms. If your B plus is higher than 20 volts, this resistor will be at 4.7K ohms to 10K ohms and put a 18 volts Zener diode from the VCC to ground to limit the voltage. Our B plus is only 19 volts so no need to put a Zener diode. The LED light is now stable and brighter. The current is about 270 milliampers, which is about the normal level. Now, let's connect the backlight enable and disable the LED fault line going to the main board. We have no PWM or the backlight level for this LED driver we made. It is fixed to 270 milliampers. This is the TPS6197 which is the original PWM driver and I think it is defective. We will connect pin 15 to the ground so the fault function will disabled. Now let's connect the backlight enable. The enable is pin 2 which is connected to this connector line. Let's connect to backlight enable.
Let's try if the backlight driver will turn on. The backlight enable is working. As you can see the backlight turns off if the TV is on standby. No need to put a heat sink to the STRW6053N. It only draws a few watts of power. A few moments later. The TV now is working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. You can help this channel with your likes and subscriptions. Ring the notification bell to keep you updated. Once again this is Teps. See you again next time. Bye for now.